There was always something exciting and compelling to do in this place. When I arrived here in the Department of Justice, I suddenly had an incredible opportunity. I was really happy to be able to enter au sein du ministère de la Justice. There was no case like it in the Supreme Court. There just seemed to be a momentum to get things done. My name is Miles Kirvin. I'm a former Deputy Minister of Justice and also spent most of my career in the Department of Justice. I came into the Department of Justice in 1991. I was really attracted to the Department of Justice simply because of the opportunity one has to contribute to the public good. One of those contributions had to do with a very important public health issue in Canada, and that was smoking. And uh, this goes back to the 1990s. And if you go back to that period of time, tens of thousands of Canadians were dying each year. I think the number the Supreme Court talked about at one point was 45,000 Canadians. The law that the government had put in place um, to deal with advertising of tobacco products, promotion of them, to deal with health warnings on packages, those laws had been struck down by the Supreme Court of Canada in 1995. We worked in very close relationship with Health Canada to put together a regulatory regime and a legal regime that would respond to that Supreme Court of Canada decision that wouldn't shrink from it, but instead would learn from it, put forward a robust regime that would protect the health of, of Canadians. Ultimately, we took the time to put together a vast quantity of evidence. We found ourselves before the Supreme Court of Canada and the Supreme Court of Canada upheld the laws, upheld the statutory provisions and the regulations on those tobacco warning labels. But after we uh, won that Supreme Court of Canada case, I found myself uh, skiing up at uh, Mont Tremblant with a few friends. I went into a dépanneur. I picked up a whole series of packages of cigarettes with all sorts of different photos and health warnings on them. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I just wanted to look at them and say this will advance the health of Canadians. When you become involved in public service, you have an opportunity to do something that is big, to be part of something that is big, to contribute to something that will make real change. I think it's something all of us in public service want. You want the feeling that when I look over there, I can see this thing that I contributed to, and that thing is really worthwhile. <laughs>